Okay, we're back again, and our first guest, I'm not going to try to do the whole name. No, she's going to be, she's going to forgive me if I don't, if I mess it up. Sarui Der Mug, Muggerdichian. Nice. Very nice. You got <laughs> okay, it. Okay, and, <laughs> and this is our friend Zara. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm so glad you came in Thank today. You. And I, I was talking to you before about how interested I am in the guests that you're talking about today. Absolutely. And the place that you can get closer to him. So let's let's talk a little bit about William Saroyan. Thank you. Let's do that. <laughs> it's exciting. Yes. It's an exciting topic. He's a Fresno native who made it very, very high in the literary world. Yes, he certainly did. And you were saying that the, he also uh, did a film or something like that? Oh, yes. That? He's uh, made the human comedy <gasps> oh. in Hollywood. He received an Academy Award for the best screenplay for that. <laughs> he produced two plays on Broadway, The Time of Your Life and My Heart's in the Highlands. Oh, and he my received gosh. the Pulitzer Prize. Uh, now, what more could you do than that? <laughs> Not for an American author. I'm telling you, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And right. he's, uh, as you were saying, uh, he's, uh, he was interested in more than just the writing. He was interested yes. in other forms of uh, arts. Yes, he absolutely wanted to learn how to draw and be an artist. Yeah. Uh, he was refused by a San Francisco art school to when he applied, so he just said, I'm just going to do it. And from very early on, he was uh, doing abstract work, and he continued that throughout his career until he started adding watercolors while he was in Paris to that. Oh my gosh, how fabulous. Mm -hmm. right. That is that is always so wonderful to get to hear about talented people, because uh, as as you know, they they do more than one thing. Right. Okay. I mean, they may excel and do more of something that they're really interested in, but sooner or later it creeps into those other things, and they got to try it. They did. <laughs> he did. He always felt that working would keep him away from dying, and so that that work was his hands were always busy. He had thousands of art prints. Uh, Actually, every day he might do seven or eight. It wasn't just one a day. Oh, my god! So gosh. he was always busy doing something with his hands. I wonder where you can see those today. Well, you can see them at the William Saroyan House Museum. <gasps> you actually, oh, that's a yes. museum? That's yes. right. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, tell me about that. Do you work there? I do. Oh. I'm, I'm the manager and the docent. And oh, it's a fabulous! Very oh, job. Well, I'm, I'm. You're the one to talk to. I'm okay, sure. I'm yes. sure you're going to tell us about this wonderful place. That you I can would go. love to tell everyone. Um, we're open Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, mm -hmm. and it's by reservation only. You can go on saroyanhouse.com and make a reservation very easily. We have tours starting at 11:30, mm -hmm. and then there's a 2:30 and a 4 o'clock, um, and. You come, it's it's actually free. There is no cost. We love donations oh to maintain the oh, house. Sure. But it is, there is no cost to it. And we are very happy to uh, invite groups of people to come also. We've mm -hmm. had a number of different uh, community groups come to see the house. And uh, what does the house contain? Is it uh, the writing or some of the art or what? That's a great question. It's a... Uh, an unusual house museum because the exterior looks like it did when he was there because it's on the historical register. Oh. But the interior was in really bad shape when uh, five years ago the uh, Renaissance Cultural and Intellectual Foundation wow. heard that it was for sale again. So they gutted the interior and now it's like a real high tech museum inside. Oh, yes. That's fabulous. Yes, you're going to find out different aspects of his personality in his life, not by seeing his typewriter or his bicycle, but by seeing different collections that he had. Oh, gosh, And yes. also a fantastic hologram. They're actually here right now from Armenia giving us a new hologram. Oh, which my is gosh. Which really very, very nice. Oh, well, that sounds an exciting place to work. It is. I meet people from all over the world that and are you, very interested. And you... Uh, talk to them about all of the different things I do. Done? I oh. do. I do a guided tour, but then there's time for them to go back and explore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been working in the house? I've been there since last February. 
The oh. house has been open one year last August. August mm -hmm. 31st is Saroyan's birthday. Oh. And that's when it opened. And uh, we'll be having other activities throughout the year, too. That is fantastic. I'm so glad you came in this morning. Well, thank you. And uh, did you know any people that actually knew him? I actually met him once. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was so surprised to really think back when I was in college at Fresno State and he was living here in Fresno. Mm -hmm. He did come and speak to the students and I actually have a photo of myself with him <laughs> right next to him, you know, kind of like, oh my gosh, here I am next oh, to Saroyan. So I did meet him and I do know people who used to see him riding his bicycle down the street or knew him <laughs> personally. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's great. I, that's a wonderful job to have. I mean, it is. How, how, how could you have a better job in a very beautiful place, I'm that's sure. Right, it is. And you're meeting all these people, and mm -hmm. you're each day you're working around his work and what he created. Right. Well, I want to make sure that his work continues on, knowing that people know about him, because unfortunately, you know, there's lots of authors who have come after him, and so his legacy mm -hmm. is not as bright as it used to be. And that's what this museum is. The only one for Saroyan since he was born in Fresno, and he lived here. Uh, and so we want to make it the absolute top notch. Oh, my gosh, yes. I, I, I thought maybe there was more things about him mm -hmm. because I've heard that he was really, really popular here. He was. He lived in Paris. Uh, he loved Paris, too. Mm. Uh, on his apartment building, uh, it does say that he lived there between 1960 and 1981, but mm -hmm. they sold that apartment after he passed oh, away. Oh. And so this is his actual home that he lived in. <laughs> and so it's exciting. Oh, it, oh, it is the same house he lived in? Yes. I thought it was just... Uh, oh, no. It's, a, it's the tract home he bought from Oscar Spano in 1964. <laughs> <laughs> really is, and it's in a neighborhood. So, we how long are there. has he been gone now? Since 1981. Oh, that's a long mm -hmm. time.